Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are again at Taylor Chapel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Bowling Green. We never left, did we? We never left. We're still here. <laughs> and here with part two with our newest friend, Reverend, Reverend Baby Dog Kennedy, pastor here at Taylor Chapel. So, uh, oh, and a sponsor for this episode, the Golf Cart Doctor has come back around again in Any his golf repair cart. needs. Surgery on your golf cart. That's right. Or even a brand new golf cart, whatever you need. And, but we're delighted for the sponsorship and to be here again at Taylor Chapel. So, should we just get right to the interview? Get right to it. Take it away, baby doll. Here we go. Because I'm ready. We had a lot yeah. of fun, a lot oh, of fun. We did. We did. And you only got to be in on about a year and a half of it, I but know. I'm sure you've experienced some amazing things in your long ministry relative to the music. Oh, absolutely. There was a um, there was a service when I was in New Jersey when the spirit just fell uh, while the musicians were playing and uh, the pastor stood up and he's like, where's the ministerial staff? And we had this chancel rail and everybody was like laid out on the floor behind the chancel <laughs> rail. And he just was, he, we just had to go with the spirit. Uh, he couldn't preach. All we could do, all the musicians, they just ministered, us, ushered us into the presence of God and kept us there. Just relish in the moment. Oh my goodness, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was like, you know, because God, God was speaking and you could feel God. You could hear God speaking through the music. Uh, and it wasn't anything that was like loud or, or banging. It was, it, was, it was like a heavenly sound. Mm -hmm. it, was, it felt like heaven. It was just so beautiful. Always enjoy the fact that Reverend Kennedy incorporated music into a lot of her sermons. And not necessarily, or what we would say historically, would be religious music. No. Motown played a big oh, role. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because <laughs> they tell a story. They tell a story. Uh, like the song, um, was it The Sideshow by Blue Magic? I love uh -huh. that song. Um, and it talks about, it's just, it's, it's so many, all these in situations that are going on that's making people um, so sad. And a lot of times we don't like to talk about sadness mm -hmm. in the church. You don't, right. you don't, you can't find many songs, many gospel songs or church songs that allow you to feel what it is you're feeling. Mm -hmm. um, and so if that, that song allowed us to, um, to look at some of the situations that were going on in the world that would make us um, to be so sad and stuff. Yeah. I always felt like all music is fair game in worship. If it helps you bring the message that day, any piece of music, all music, top forty or something yeah. from five hundred years mm -hmm. ago, it's all it's all fair game. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I did one um, kiss and say goodbye. The, the whole um, wow. When Sarah, when, when was it, the Lot's wife looked back. It's like sometimes you got to kiss and say goodbye. Mm, right. And so, That's it. It yeah. just fits, right? If, yeah. If it fits, it fits. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> there, there are certain lyrics that just move you in a way in which you know they were God-inspired, even though they don't mention God. Right. Because they touch us at the core of who we are. I mean, and then we have the book of Psalms in the Bible, you know. That right there shows you the value of, of music. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we overlook... Um, the musicians, the minister of music, the choir, trying to rush to the sermon versus hearing what God is saying, what the Spirit is saying through them and, and, and appreciating the gifts that God has gifted them with. Uh, and I, I think once when we get on one accord with, with the pastor and the musicians and the minister of music and the whole choir, 
when all of that is working in tandem, it's a wonderful feeling because God does so much. I remember one Sunday I was, I was standing up and I had said something about, um, it was after the royal wedding. And uh -huh. they had sang, um, what was that song? When the night has come, stand by me. Yeah. And Chad played it during the altar call. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> and I was up there bawling. Uh -huh. I mean, it was just, it was just so appropriate mm -hmm. for the moment. And the way he played it, you felt like God was standing mm -hmm. by you. Uh -huh. It was just, it was like. I had forgotten that, Pastor. I, I always, every time I hear the song, I remember when you did that. I was like, uh -huh. oh my goodness. Gives me chills, <laughs> Charlie. Yeah, yeah. When it all fits together like yeah. that, it's amazing, isn't it? It uh -huh. is. It is like you, you feel the heart of worship. You're just like, oh, my goodness. God is so amazing. So amazing. And the thing is, I don't know if you've noticed, but Chad is white. And so when Chad, <laughs> I noticed that. So, 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 Viewers, so, <laughs> don't so, panic. So he's, so he's, in, he, he's in, 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 our, in our tradition, you know, um, there's a lot of emotion that goes into playing. And Chad would bring all of that. Uh, and, and then some to, to how he would minister in certain moments. And there were, there were straight up divine moments where when um, Sister Mason, may she rest in peace, when I had to tell the congregation that she was uh, dying of cancer, he played, what was it? you played a Kurt Carr song that day. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the name of it, but. Oh, I Kurt didn't even Carr. know he knew the song. Mm. But by the time he was done playing, we were all in tears because it fit the moment. He let God use him in such a mighty way to where, you know, we felt God holding us together. And like we said yeah. earlier, it's the music that allows us to feel what we need to feel, right, allows right. us to experience that moment yeah. rather than just pushing it down. Right. And one of the criticisms or one of the things that I think hinders my particular denomination, the Presbyterian Church, is that sometimes we have the service so structured Here's a bulletin, you go from here to here, to here to here, it's all on paper, you can't deviate from it. And I always felt like, you know, for me as a pastor, I like a bit of spontaneity to give yeah. the spirit freedom. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Or I, I like someone from the congregation to just to shout out during a sermon some question or something that's mm -hmm. on their hearts and just have that yeah. authentic spur of the moment spirit led. And 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 so many churches hinder the spirit by just making it too structured, I feel like. And interestingly enough, that happened a few times at First Presbyterian when you were <laughs> yeah, there, and, and I, I loved it. it. Everybody I loved it. I did. I got someone's commenting from the congregation during uh -huh. the sermon. Great. It gave me a And chance. it was a surprise <laughs> to a lot of us, but it, you know, it was accepted and loved. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's because the spirit was at work, and you feel Absolutely. it. You're right, maybe, Absolutely. doll. You feel that and when you're in the worship service and the spirit is working. You know it. There's no doubt yeah, about it. Yeah, you know it because it, 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 all, it, it all works together. There's nothing off about it. And everybody, everyone feels it and mm -hmm. stuff. So, yeah, because I always say, you know, well, in our bulletin it said um, uh, the service is under the direction of the Holy Spirit and subject to change without notice. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like that. Just give that disclaimer. Right. <laughs> My father in the ministry always had that in the bulletin. So, because he's like, you know, if the Lord takes over, that's it. He's not fighting the spirit. We're not rushing anything. We're going with the spirit because the spirit has more to say than I do. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Right. We're just all instruments of the spirit, right? right? Right. It's not about what I have to say. It's about what God wants to say through me. Absolutely. And that's why, too, you know, when I first started the ministry, I, I ditched the script, the written sermon, because mm -hmm. when you write it out again, you're stuck to, and just go with Go with it, right? If you have a message, just sort of let give room for the spirit to mm -hmm. change your words midstream. Yeah, I like that about about this worship here. Yeah, I have to have mine written out because I'll forget. I'll be off the left field. Now, what was the scripture again? But it, even even in in the manuscript, there is room mm -hmm. because you can get up there with the manuscript and have five points or three points or however many, and then God will be like, "No, you're making one point today. Mm -hmm. This is the God." Point. Right, right. I'm like, okay, God. And that's what's been partially, and I hope many of you agree, uh, exciting about this channel is we've never had a script. Right, no script. We, we don't should have had go over any times. guidelines with the people we talk to. We just talk and, and share experiences. And those people, the people that are watching, share their experiences right. and send us questions and, and input. So. Yeah, it's not smooth, it's not polished, but it's authentic, right? right. What we do. Now, our hair is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> 
these two are pros. I'm new to this. So. <laughs> you are shining star today, yeah. Miss Lady. <laughs> yeah, y'all are nice. Y'all are awesome. What else, Charlie? Well, I, I can't think of a thing to... Uh, to add, I, I wish we could have recorded our pre-recorded conversation that you could have heard. Right, that we've too. said that over and over that many times our conversations prior to filming yeah. are so jam-packed with information and exciting things, but then we set the camera up and all that leaves in mind. So. <laughs> well, tell us how people can find you or the church, or where, where can they where can they go to online or in person? To they can go online to www.taylorchapelame.org. Um, we Zoom on Sundays at 9 a.m., so our service is one hour long, so you can hit up our Zoom, and then you can go to your church's Zoom or go to your church in person. Uh-huh. Nice. Stop by and worship with us. Yep, one hour, so you can get your uh, Taylor Chapel in and then head to your 11 o'clock service if <laughs> right. that's what you have. And if you have any particular questions for Reverend Kennedy, get in touch with us, and we'll put you in touch with her. That's right. Awesome. Uh-huh. We have connections. <laughs> <laughs> And please like, comment, subscribe if you want. Click the notification bell. And we look forward to seeing you all soon. And we don't have masks on because we've had our shot, okay? So we're I good. Just, just right. want to make that disclaimer. <laughs> we're, so we're responsible. We're responsible. Okay. That's right. We're, we're responsible here. And we're all, we're all uh, being very careful with it. Thank you for watching so much. Thank you, baby doll. Thank Goodbye. Thank you. Well, that was a great uh, interview. I can see why you spent so many years here. Yeah, Chadwick. she has a lot to say lot and knows say. how to say it. And knows how to say it. A beautiful church, beautiful place, beautiful uh, worship experience here. And like, like, Makes me a little bit clamped. You, you oh, I spent 13 day. years here. Yeah, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> who knows? We hope some other things come back around. You never know. You never know what might happen. But we were so delighted to be here today. It was a pleasure. It was. And it's a pleasure having you watch these last two episodes with us. Uh, we do this for you and to make new friends along the way. So thanks so much for all of that. Right. Like, and comment, subscribe, click the notification bell. There's an email in the co comment box too. Email Communicate us. with us. Let right. us know. Right. Talk to us. And look forward to seeing what's coming up soon. That's right. See, See you, you soon. Charlie. Goodbye. Bye, Chapter.